Neck deep in it, you ain't riding. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Brian with Fishers Off Road, and in this video, we are throwing it back. We're going into the vault from 2014 when we had our show on the Outdoor Channel. Uh, at that time, it was Fishers ATV World, and we are going to Jacksonville, Texas, to the Mud Creek Off Road Park where the Mud Nationals event got its start. And we went there and shot this show in 2014. It aired in 2015. Unfortunately, the park closed up in 2018 but i'm gonna tell you something we had a big time and y'all gotta stick around and watch this because i definitely had my ass kicked on this shoot so hope you enjoy y'all now if you're not familiar with how they ride in texas they do everything big in texas big mud holes which means big atvs big lift kits big tires and snorkels even the kids love riding in mud down here this is a huge mud riding area because when you get dirty with your parents, they get on to you. And here you're allowed to get dirty without even getting in trouble. <laughs> the muddier they get, the more prouder you are of them. Snorkeled out, two inch lift kit, all new plastics, graphics, a little bit of powder coating, absolutely. Are you afraid of getting it muddy at all? I am. <laughs> I just finished the rebuild on it yesterday. Oh no. <laughs> but that's what it's for. You betcha. That's what it's for. As long as I get it back. We went down to the campground, found some people hanging out down there, asked them if they wanted to take us out and show us around, do some riding. So we got some people joining us here today and we're getting ready to hit the trails. is exactly why you need to wear a helmet. You know, something like that doesn't look like it was that serious, but I'll tell you what, a rollover like that, the impact when you hit, it's it's gonna hurt. And if you don't have a helmet on, you hit your head on something, you're gonna end up going to the hospital. He got lucky. Yeah, all right, bud? Anybody hurt? Yeah. You okay, Johnny? Definitely knocked out of you. Yeah, you're good. Hey, what happened? Yeah, just give me a minute. Be all right. Good deal. Be all right. Well, I need a new rear view mirror. Yeah, you have to have a new mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be all right. We'll be good. Just kind of landed right on me as we made that hairpin turn, you know. Kind of knocked in the wind out of me. So a couple minutes here, we'll be good to go. Well, that was our first stop for filming and uh, it was epic. Uh, Back on the trail, more good times. Some mud. We're part way through our ride and we find this huge long mud hole. It's a man-made deal. They've got water running down through it and anybody that doesn't have the proper equipment, lift kits, snorkels, big tires, the whole nine yards shouldn't even be in this thing. Don't even have any business being in this thing. Well, everybody kept egging me on, wanting me to go through this so I couldn't resist the challenge. So me and the Outlander 1000, we headed in. 
everything's going good, the mud hole's not that deep, and I'm thinking to myself, man, this is no big deal. And all of a sudden, I hit this one big hole, kind of kicks me off to the side, and I'm thinking, what's your next move? What are you gonna do from here? You've been in situations like this before. You gotta just stay on the gas and keep working. At this point, there really wasn't much for me to do. I knew I had to get my Outlander in reverse because I ran out of ground. It was just floating now, but I knew I couldn't let off the gas because if I did, it would suck water in and I'd be done. So I gambled, I took a chance, I tried to stay on the throttle and feather it a little bit and put it in reverse, but it just didn't work out. I'll tell you what, if you come down here riding, you better be prepared to get muddy, dirty, wet, and have a good time. Don't stay to the side, ride on the banks, go right for it, go down through the middle. I swamped my uh, Outlander 1000, I had to get winched out of there, but then when I got out of there, it started right back up. We'll see how it runs the rest of the day. We'll see what happens, but so far so good. And my trunk in the back, everything was dry when I opened it up. I got grit in my teeth, freaking junk in my pants, <laughs> my boots. My boots are full of mud. You ain't neck deep in it, you ain't riding. That right there is four wheeling. Well, when I ran my uh, Outlander through the mud hole out there, I submerged it and got water in the belt. So what we're gonna do right now is try and pop the belt housing off, get the water out so we can keep on riding. Right now the belt's slipping. Worst case scenario, I'll just have to park this or take it back and then j jump on my Grizzly and keep on riding. I was told I wasn't even gonna get my jeans dirty. Oh well. I know, I'm like, oh, you're not gonna get dirty because they said there's not a lot of mud out there. Why do you think we wanted you to lead the way? <laughs> oh, so it was you really the just the setup, is that what it was? <laughs> That's good for TV. That's good, clean fun. One, two, three. That's a picture right there. They coming out? I don't see anything. Yeah, it's true. Doing some belt draining right here. This is why you gotta ride with a lot of friends, because if you're out by yourself, you can't do it this way. <laughs> you got it? Nice and easy. Okay, yeah, coming down, oh, coming down. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Woo! Right. I'm gonna put her back together, see how we make out. Didn't look like a lot of water came out of there, so I think I might have smoked the belt. If that's the case, we're gonna have to take it back and park it, and then I'll take my Grizzly. That's just a part of riding.
Mug Creek's a little bit different than most of the riding we're used to, no matter whether it's on the East Coast or West Coast. You know, it's a lot of mountains and hills that we'll ride on usually. But down in Texas, it's just a lot of flat land riding. You know, you got your water holes, your mud holes. If you've got an ATV that's all set up for this kind of riding, you can have a blast. But if you have a stock ATV or you take your kids, you can go out around all the deep stuff, you don't need to go through it. So no matter what you have, you can go there and ride and have a good time. Well, we're back in PA from our big trip to Texas, and as you guys saw on the show, I totally swamped out my Can-Am Outlander 1000 XT. I've got water in the oil, a smoke belt, and now we gotta get this thing to our local dealer and get it fixed up. Now, I show you guys how to do things a lot on the show when it's working, but I never show you how to do things when it's not working. If you've got a dead ATV and you gotta load it up by yourself, that's a pretty difficult job. So today, we're gonna be using the worn cordless pulls all to get our ATV loaded up on the trailer and get it to our local power sports dealer. We're going to be using our worn accessory kit to help us get this job done. Now this kit comes with two tree trunk protectors, which we're just going to be using them as straps, two shackles and a snatch block. Now we won't need to snatch block for this job. That's only if you want to do a double line pull. The pulls all has up to a thousand pound pulling power. So we got plenty of power to get the job done. What we're gonna do now is hook up our second strap to the front of our ATV and you wanna mount it nice and low to a solid anchor point. Now the reason we mount it low is because when you're doing an incline pull like this, you wanna pull your ATV up in the air. That makes the load a lot easier on the winch that you're using. Whereas if you mount it up top here, it's gonna pull down on the ATV, put more pressure on your front suspension and make your winch work a lot harder. Another thing you'll notice is that I'm mounting my strap to a good solid low anchor point. Now why don't I hook it on this hook? Well this is not meant to be a tow strap. Some people think that they can use their winches to tow, but really that damages your winch. So you want to stay away from doing that. Your pools all has an on switch. You just turn it on. And what you want to do is you want to hook your pools all up so that you take it backwards so you keep tension on your cable at all times. If we would have put the strap up top here on the bumper, it'd be pulling down real hard on the front of the ATV right now. So it's gonna make your winch work a lot harder. Whereas when we mount it nice and low, it's almost a straight line pull. And that's how you get your ATV all loaded up by yourself. And we use the pools all, all around the garage for every kind of situation you can think of. We even use it for hunting. So the pools all comes in handy, but today it helped us get our ATV on our trailer and now it's time to get it to the dealer.